Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to Let's Play Timberborn! Timberborn's been on my radar for a very long time, but I haven't had the real opportunity to play it until now, and I'm very happy to finally be starting a Let's Play for Timberborn. This is a city building game, well, like a town building game, really. You know, a little reminiscent of things like, say, Banish, for example, with one important exception. Beavers. We are beavers in this game. Uh, the, the, the Steam page says something about this is a, it's a lumberpunk setting. Mm -hmm. There are actually two factions of beavers. You have to unlock the iron teeth uh, by reaching a certain level of, uh, of well-being with the base faction of folktales over here. Both of them play fairly differently, so there's some extra replayability there. Timberborn is currently in early access, so still lots of de development going on. We're going to get started. The recommended map is Plains, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. That seems fine, although I don't know. I could try a few different things. Now, we'll start with the planes. It's going to be okay. I'm going to play on normal difficulty over here. Um, I have heard some actually wonderful things about Easy if you just want to enjoy the actual town building aspect of it with uh, fewer hardships. Definitely the way to go. And, of course, if you're super hardcore, you can go that way. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead with normal on our first game over here. I have gone through the tutorial, but that is about it. Bum, 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 bum. The visuals are great. I mean, I love all these painted scenes. They're really quite wonderful, uh, but I also really like the in-game visuals as well. Building is marked as solid, such as a lodge or warehouse. You can build other structures on its roof. In that lovely. This There we go. As I say, this load time seemed extra long. Maybe it's because I'd already had a session going on when I started this one. Maybe it was unloading a few things. So here is our little starting area on this map. We've got a handful of beavers. We have 11 in total, seven which are adults. They're currently all homeless because indeed I don't have any houses for them. Look at them all scatter, oot and a boot. Oh, they're so, they're so mm, wonderful. They all have names, we can rename them as well. So sweet. Uh, homeless and unemployed currently with level three well-being because currently their basic needs are being met. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of the tutorial over here. Boop. And we'll see what we can do. So one of the big things in this game is, act, is managing the water. I mean, beavers, they are the animal, above all others, that give a damn. Anyway, um, so one of the things that happens in the game, you get droughts, and the water goes away. And all this fertile land, all the green bits over here, will turn into dry, dry, non-arable land, ruin your crops, and so on and so forth. So one of the big things uh, that appears to be in the game is building dams and whatnot so that you can retain the water, and in fact, later on, redirect it in a pretty considerable way. Um, we don't have the technology to do full redirections right now. We're just gonna try to survive the early days. Uh, we've got our district building over here. This zone is the zone that belongs to this district. However, it can be extended with paths. So if I were to build a path that say goes this way, we can see this is now extended over here. And we need paths to connect to most of the buildings uh, as we go forward. Uh, early on, we are gonna need quite a lot of wood to get started. So I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stretch out a path over here and then maybe we'll assume that we're gonna do something kind of like this somewhere along the way, I don't know. But we're gonna go to the wood category and we're just gonna put down a couple lumber lumberjack flags. A beaver is gonna have to go and come here and quote unquote construct it, but it doesn't take any material. I think I'll go ahead and put two of these down here. Two beavers should automatically be assigned to construct from there. I think it's the ones from the district center that do the construction. So these two beavers, is that uh, Vulzela and Suliana? It is. There you go. So these are our two constructors over here. I love the little voices. Very cute. All right. So yeah, they're going to go ahead and construct that. We'll just fast forward a little bit. And once that gets done, uh, workers will be assigned to work on these. But we do need to specify an area where they're allowed to cut trees. So I'm just going to make a tree cutting area over here. You can cut down all those trees. Very soon, we will also need some more food. We do have some blueberry bushes over here so we'll set up a little bit of harvesting what i'm gonna do there's also a little bit of a slope a little staircase leading to higher level so what i'm gonna plan on here i'm gonna build a oops a path there we go because the idea is we'll be able to access the slope uh these trees have all dried out and died so they're not going to grow but we should be able to chop them down and uh, still get some resources out of that which is going to be lovely but let's go to the food category and we'll grab the gathering flag and you can see if I just plop down a flag, say, I mean, this seems like a fine place. I could even go and tuck it in. Maybe I'll tuck it in over here. I'll just put down the one gatherer for now. Hopefully that is going to be enough. 
But this one gathering post over here will be able to collect all the blueberries that are lingering around. I can also go and demolish this barrier as well if we want to let the water come in. I mean, I suppose I could go and do that. The water can come into this little area. Might extend the fertile territory a wee bit. And that wouldn't be a bad thing to see. Okay, so now that that's coming in, maybe I should have left the twirl up because it would remind me sort of some of the basic starter steps that we might want to consider and in what order we might want to do them in. Um, oh, we need some water because our little beavers are going to get awful thirsty if we don't have some water for them. So let's go ahead and get that going on. We're going to get a water pump. I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to build it here. And what I'm going to plan on is building a path that sort of extends out. Well, there's not going to be much room for things there. But we'll build a little water pump. And then we're going to go and get a couple of small water tanks, say, here and here. So what will happen, a beaver will come, work the pump, and work. I, the pump might work automatically. I don't remember if a beaver needs to actually run it or not. Um, but then they'll carry it and put it in the water tanks. Because every day, our beavers will consume a certain amount of food and a certain amount of water. They'll also grow up to be adults. We'll let that construction go. We've got a few logs, not a whole lot. Oh, they're coming. Look at them carry those logs around. Oh, what a little cuties. They will store a certain amount of stuff just in these posts over here. Uh, but later on, we will need to get some dedicated log storage to be able to hold on to uh, larger and larger supplies of all those things. Just going to wait for this water pump to finish. I'll put the priority up so that it gets finished before the water tanks. Although that probably will happen just based on walking distance. I think they mostly prioritize things uh, based on distance here. So the water pump is working nicely. That's great. This one over here, who's that? Renje, picking up some blueberries for us. We did start off with a little bit of food, but eventually that will run out. Um, we still have two unemployed. We can figure out what kind of job we're going to put for them. Well, very, very, very soon, we are going to need a lumber mill. Now, a lumber mill actually needs power. Now, it's not electrical power. It's just horsepower that is going to be supplied from our water wheels. We can also do power wheels where beavers get into it, you know, just like a uh, like a hamster wheel. Uh, but the water wheels are going to do a great job for us. Each one here provides 180 horsepower, assuming there is a flow of water, which we can see over here. Um, I feel like this spot over here is probably going to be a great place for the water wheel. Uh, so maybe we'll try to do something like that. Oh, there's some trees over here. We could chop these down. You know, maybe that's what I'm going to set up real quick. Uh, let's see. I think... I want a road that goes kind of like this, and I'm just going to put one more little logging camp over here. There we go. To grab the trees from over here, we'll chop them down, and we might... This might turn into some farmland or something of that nature. We'll see. Now, trees do regrow. You can see here. They are regrowing on their own, or maybe they were already there. But we can also replant them with a forester's lodge, which is definitely something we're going to want. Okay, water pump is a go. Vubal is working there. Excellent. So, yeah, I mean, they must have to work on it just to make the water. And what, what's going on is the people that work in the district center, when they're idle, they are going to be responsible for transporting goods around. So, right now, they do they are set to a limit of two workers. We can have up to four employed, but we'll keep it at two right now. So, we only have one unemployed, which is not too shabby. Oh, that lumberjack flag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the work time. So, by default, they work 16 hours a day. I'm going to increase it to 18. Based on what I've been reading... So... Uh, I was looking, and it looks like their sleep gets maintained fine with that kind of work schedule. I think it's possible that it doesn't give them as much time to satisfy their leisure activities. Um, so there might be some other needs that decrease a little bit. And we can go and bring that down later. But for now, they can't satisfy those needs anyway. So let's go ahead and have them work a little bit longer before they fall asleep for the night. Oh my god, they're so adorable. They're so adorable. Yeah, chop down these trees and get this going on. All right. Second water storage is up. I think what I'll do is I'll plan something like that. Take this and remove it. And very soon we are going to want to farm. I think I might build a dam first. Because that is going to be incredibly important. That is going to take a fair amount of wood, or and specifically logs. But... When that flood comes, it is going to be really poor. Okay, we don't have a ton of wood sitting around right now, so queuing up extra construction, there's not much reason to, to do it one way or the other right now, because 
Um, it's not going to get built regardless, so we can give it a little bit of think. But yeah, priorities is going to be more sustainable food by having a farm, uh, as well as getting a dam in place for the inevitable flood, so that not everything dries out. Because uh, the first flood in when I was playing the first time lasted three days. It started, I think, on day... I think we got the warning on day 12 that it was going to start on 15. I think it lasted, on three, it lasted three days after that. And that is a long time where basically nothing is growing. In fact, most of your crops are dying off. Because if we want to make sure to get our first harvest down, we're going to need our farm pretty quickly as well. Okay, we have a little bit of food stocked up. We're going to need some extra workers as well. Although as these children mature, they will become the extra workers. But we're going to have to build some houses soon. Okay. I'm going to get a farm going. So I'm going to build a farmhouse. Uh, I'm going to build it like here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a big field of carrots. They grow very quickly. We might convert some of the carrot stuff to other things later on. Potatoes, which have to be grilled. Oh, there's a little tree over there. Um, and later on, wheat, which have to be ground into flour and then baked into bread. Uh, but oh, you do get a lot more nutrition out of that. But I think starting with some carrots is going to be very nice. We'll get the farmhouse going on. And then they can work this big field over here. And the tutorial tells me to get about 60. This is a lot more than 60 carrot plants. Uh, hopefully that's not a mistake. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to get that. And then what I might do is get the houses so that we can be fruitful and multiply. Now, at a certain point, we can start building on the non-fertile terrain, the non-arable terrain. Actually, speaking of, I think we've got extra green that has shown up over here because we did bring the water in, which is nice. Um, maybe the thing to do, the thing to do might be to chop down the trees over here. We'll put a cut tree command for everything in this area, especially the dried stuff. Actually, maybe I'll, pre um, oops, preferentially do all the dried trees over here. Because the idea is we might put, we could put some industry area up over here. And let's get a, another lumberjack flag. Oh, that's not the right place for it. There we go. Right, touching. Excellent. Build that. We don't have anyone unemployed right now. Now what I could do, I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these lumberjack flags over here. That'll free up a worker that'll presumably work somewhere else instead. Farmhouse is up. I could limit it to just one worker in the farmhouse, but I don't know. I think I kind of like the idea of two. All right, we need to get some lumber going. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. This area over here would be a great place for houses uh, because it's nowhere I'm going to be growing crops. But I suppose this area back here is very unlikely to grow crops at any point either. Yeah. Okay, let's figure out what our housing is going to look like. So we have the lodge or the lodge mirrored. That's just the, what, what side the doorway is on. I love that the game does that. Gotta get them aesthetics. Gotta get them just right. Over here, can we fit two houses? Yes, we can. Is that what I want to do? Maybe. You know, if I do the mirrored one, there you go. You can fit the doorway in there and everything. Alright, I think that's a swell place to put some houses. We'll just make sure that it can be accessed by a path. Now, what's great is houses count as those solid structures that we read about in the intro. They can be stacked on top of one another. And actually, other things can be put on top. Uh, you do need to make sure they have access. So we'll need, eventually, we'll need to unlock the ability to build stairs, as well as various platforms, so that... Um, yeah, well, yeah, the construction. You have the ghost image, or if you click off, you get that. Uh, so that they can access the other floors. But we'll get that going. So you're working over there, which is great. Houses are being built. The farm's in place. These things are currently full of water. We may need to store a little bit more before the drought, but I don't know. For now, we'll leave that. That's going to have to do okay. Farming is happening. You know, I'm betting we can do with just one beaver assigned to farming. I'm going to do that. Okay, that's actually unemployed. Okay, well then I'll put you back for a little bit. Although I suspect you're going to be pretty idle soon. But we could take him out of this, and then if, if there's another job waiting for a worker. But yeah, right now everything is filled. I mean, we could put extra things in here, but we don't need that. We will want storage soon. Now, if I'm thinking about maybe making this an industrial area, do we want to have to haul the logs this far away? Well, actually, if I'm thinking about putting the water mill here, and I think I do want it on the low ground then actually this is the best place for a lumber mill. 
Kinda, sorta. Okay, logs are coming in. Oh, I do want to get the dams, but we're actually doing pretty well timing-wise. Okay, let's get the houses finished first. Let's make sure we don't steal too many logs away from other things. We'll get the houses finished first so that we have some extra housing and no homelessness, and then the beavers can be fruitful and multiply. I do not believe the beavers actually have sex. I think as long as there's at least two of them in the house, they'll reproduce. And I think, yeah, and, and, and I think that it doesn't even have to have extra room in this house. There just needs to be room in a house somewhere, and I think this tribe will reproduce. I think those are the rules by which they operate. Oh, we actually can't reach quite down there, but we will if we extend the path, so that's going to be okay. Did I ever put... I probably never put the tree chopping job over here, did I? It's like, why is this not um, developing? Well, that would be why. There you go. Cut those trees. Or why is it not being cleared? There's a range. This post over here could was working some of it, but yeah. You do get a warning if one of these things is completely idle. If, um... Nothing, you know, if it can't do its job for some reason, you will get a warning about it. All right, housing is all right. We actually have a little bit of empty space already. Be on the lookout for more children to be born. We will get some pop-ups down over here in the left, bottom left corner as well when that happens. Mm-hmm-hmm. Farmhouse. Uh, we got two unemployed because people have come of age. So well-being, everyone's got their basic needs met. Comfort's not bad. Uh, people will get their comfort satisfied next time they're in a house, which is going to be okay. And yeah, I need an average well-being of eight to be able to unlock the other factions. So we're going to need to get them good nutrition. That'll be by supplying them very different types of foodstuffs. Uh, more comfort, entertainment, social stuff. Anything we can do to make our beavers as happy as possible. So I could tr uh, cut back on the tree cutting area over here so that more of them work there, but I think this is going to be okay. All right, we've got a decent amount of logs. Just going to wait until the last house gets done, just not to confuzzle our workers. I suppose what I could do at this point is I could go and throw more workers in here. There'd be more construction, more hauling around when we do get our work, our um, our warehouses set up. Oh, there you go. A couple of children have been born. Uh, let's okay. I'll, we'll increase by one to three, but that'll be it. So we have the one employed, but we're going to create. Well, okay. Let's get the storages up first. So we'll take advantage of the extra builders and then we'll uh, we'll make some changes. So I'm going to get a log pile. I'll get it I'll get it over here for now. Kind of central, it's going to be okay. We'll get a warehouse tucked in back there as well, on a little bit of non-arid land. And yeah, we've got our water storage set up. That's going to be good. There you go. You can see the logs are being carried over from our little work post and then after uh, the construction is done. The logs are just going to get stored in here as well. Now, we might tear down this log pile later on and move it somewhere else. Um, again, if... Uh, well, I guess the logging is going to have to go here. I was talking about an industrial area. Maybe this is just going to be a housing area. Because we are going to need some power. Hmm. There we go. Warehouse open. We have to need to get some science going soon. Do I need planks to build this? No, just logs. And this could be built over here. I don't think there's going to be that much growing back here, though. Maybe build a couple of science things so we can start unlocking some research, which actually, I just realized, I think we need... We need for the forester, not the lumber mill. Okay. So what's going to happen with these inventor, uh, inventor places over here, um, a beaver is going to go in, work that, generate science points. And if we look over, for example, at this forester, we need 60 science. You see at the bottom it says 60 in red. We need 60 science to be able to unlock that. And I think the inventors generate three per day, I think it was telling me in the tooltip. Or, no, it's three per work cycle. So they're actually going to do quite a lot. Building lacks workers, indeed. We don't have enough um, unemployed. Go ahead and release a couple of these. Okay, we still have one unemployed, but the second one's going to get built, so they'll go over and work there. Excellent. And the other thing I'm going to do right now, just before any trees grow back, although I guess, no, they don't grow back, but I'll plan on extending the path over here. We'll wait for more of those trees to get cut down. Oh, first carriage harvest is happening. Nice. And yeah, we still have two beavers working there. Beautiful. Excellent. So yeah, we have enough uh, housing for 18 people. It's, it, it's interesting, it divides the lodge and the mirrored lodge. So there's no homeless, and we do have room for extra things. Yeah, 18 total housing versus 14. We can also collapse this down. 
you know, if we don't care about these counts. I guess I, I don't need, you know, I could just compare the total number of people to the housing. We'll leave it open. Hey! Our average happiness has reached 5. We got comfort, level 1 nutrition from the carrots, and all the basic needs are still met. So one of our goals will be get, get the 8 so that we can unlock that other faction and see what they're like. Still want more of this to get cut down so we can develop this area. Um, I don't have any extra unemployed. I was going to say I could make some more lumberjack flags here. I could, I could just turn off some of these as well. I guess the lumberjack flags are free to build. Like They don't take any material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this one. And I'm going to pause this one. And then they should go and work here instead. Yeah, you can see there's some regrowth. Okay, so what we're going to do, get a water wheel. I want it just off the coast over here, like that. And then what you can do is you connect power shafts to bring the power different places. And you can, you can do intersections, you can do all sorts of things. I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit of a gap here, just so that we have more options later on. But then the idea is I'm going to build a lumber mill. Was this little sapling in the way? I think it is. Alright, I'm gonna do this. We'll plan for... I guess I'll just do an intersection here. Far from path. Well, first of all... Okay, I'm gonna cancel this one. Where do we want the path coming down? Well, I guess right to the front door for now, and that should put everything within range. And I know it uses a little bit more material, but I'll just put another four-way over here. Just It'll be simpler later on. We can figure out exactly how we're going to connect anything else that we may need to drive power to. Uh, buildings that need power, that touch, they will share power between themselves, because presumably they have the uh, the power shafts you know, running through the walls between the adjacent buildings. So we'll be able to do a little bit of work with that. And it's going to be fine. So yeah, this might be the better place to have the deep wood depot in this area. But I'm actually wondering if we might just be expanding our farmland over here. We can just build a second farmhouse in the same area. Because um, they'll overlap and work things. And get maybe a big potato field and a wheat field over here. Something like that. We do have an unemployed person. I'll go ahead and unpause this flag. We do have a lot of logs. But oh, soon they're going to go to work in the lumber mill. That's it. You know what? Remove this building. Keep the one over there. That's going to be okay. Um, build this one first because I'm worried. Oh no, you can get you can get around because they can get a little bit boxed in and not be able to reach something. No real reason to build a lumber mill first because it's not going to be able to operate unless it's got the water flowing. How we do? Okay, we are actually getting quite close to the um, um, the drought. So we need to go and get ourselves a little bit of landscaping. We haven't unlocked any of the other special tech over here, including dynamite, but we can build a dam. So we're going to do that. And ideally as narrow as possible. I'm not sure if any of these offer a narrow air, narrower area than any others. So I'm going to build over here and then we might go and build um, some extra stuff over here. Now this one looks fine. This one over here, it'll say it's too far, but they, we can walk on top. In fact, the dams are solid. We can build things on top of it. So once this first piece gets done, then they'll work on the second one over here. Still, what I'm going to do um, is apparently have a little sapling over there. Now, I don't know if there's any way to just get rid of this. You can't hit delete. I mean, it's in the cut tree zone. I don't know if there's like a forced... Launch building's resource. There we go. Make it a high priority. Although it is growing, it'll get chopped down soon. I'll do this, we don't have enough workers for everything, but that's okay. Population still has room to grow. Yep, there you go. Drought coming in three days. Get a little plop 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 to let you know. Plop plop fizz fizz done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the priority. 
on all the buildings over here. Or I could have raised the, the priority on all the dam buildings, but there were more dam buildings, so it would have taken more clicks. It does take 20 log per dam segment. Damn, that's a lot of logs. Sorry, this, this game is going to be full of puns like that. I hope you're ready for it. Now, this game feels like it's like the perfect sort of Canadiana game. It's actually made by a Polish developer, which I was surprised to learn when I when I looked them up. I'm like, surely some some Canuckians came up with this idea, right? Uh, no, no, Polish. Hey, they've made a couple other things as well, but I think this is by far their biggest release, and it is very swell. Uh, those of you who know A Kiss for Luck, who, uh, who's my mother-in-law and streams after me on most days, uh, she's played a lot of this, and I kept meaning to get to it sooner. But there we go. We're here now. And a little bit of food. Oh, before the drought comes, let's store more water. We don't have the ability to do the large tanks. We'll get a couple more of those. We've got... Oh, we actually have a fair amount of tech coming in, which is good. I think... Heck, I, I could have... Rather than build those. Oh, never mind. I was going to say... I could unlock the technology for the floodgates, but the floodgates need planks, which we don't have the ability uh, to have yet, so never mind. We're going to go and put those back in. Um, one of them might have been partially built. I don't know if it wastes the logs or what. That would have been bad. Oh, um, I'm going to lower the priority a step here. And specifically increase the priority over there. I like how you'll be able to see the water flow around the partially built dam. It looks very nice. Okay. Well, I mean, this this should be getting built regularly because it has higher priority than all the other construction things. We have we actually don't have quite enough logs. Oh, I hope we get this up before the drought starts. Otherwise, we're going to be in big big trouble. We're going to be in so much trouble. Come on. Do you have any logs? Park here? No. I mean, we have enough on construction duty. Oh. Might have to extend the working hours even more for the next day. I can do. I can do 24 hours. I mean, they won't get their comfort satisfied. But I'm just gonna set that. Make sure we get this dam done. Because otherwise, we're probably gonna die. I don't have that much water stored up. I don't have that much food. Well, um, I think they eat two or three food per day. Times number of beef. Oh, we might actually be okay. I don't know how many. If it's three, per, let's say we have 20 beavers. If it's three per day, that's 60 per day. So we need 180 to survive the drought, which we almost have. Especially if they're, we squeeze out an extra carrot harvest over here. Hey, yeah, look, see the water flow? You know what I'm saying? Okay, nighttime is coming. Please, 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 please. Finish! I don't think the priority here makes a difference. But just in case. Because I think it is already highest priority. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! The drought, the drought is here? Lacks material. Oh, we don't have enough logs? No. This one employed. Oh yeah, because this isn't doing anything right now. It actually should give me a warning. Oh, the water levels are going to start descending. Everything's going to dry out. None of these have any logs sitting around. Oh, you do, actually. I don't know if cancelling you gives us the material back, though. Now, if the water can't flow diagonally... I actually like that every time it gets 25% of the material, it does do a little bit of the construction then. It really helps the flow. Like, things are still being delivered while someone's doing a little bit of construction. Done. <gasps> that might be enough. I don't think the water flows through diagonally. I think we've just saved it. Oh, 3.3 days of drought. That is, that is a while. We had some people sleeping outside. sleeping outside. There's room left in the lodge. Hmm. Alright, yeah. 
right, we're getting a little bit of lumber a little bit faster. Finish this last little bit, just in case it makes a difference. But yeah, there's not a lot of water left here. You can see it's just barely at the bottom. And with uh, with the dam here, during the drought, the water wheel won't even work. So that's why it's like even lower priority. So in hindsight, I really shouldn't have started construction here because it did consume a bunch of logs like it's just sitting here. And I don't know if canceling it gives us back. So I just I'm a little bit worried about doing it. I clearly should have started the dam before this. The thing is, the tutorial gets you to do this first, but the tutorial, I think, tends to lead you in a path of disaster. So that that might be part of it. Put you back to normal here. Once again, this isn't going to flow. Nothing's going to work over here until the water is flowing, so we may as well just complete the water tank. Okay. We have the tech. Oh, I was going to say, we can build a forester, but a forester needs planks as well. So until this is going, we can't, we can't build any of the higher tech stuff. So we can just let it chill for now. Uh, I'm going to... Oh! I forgot this got paused. Shoot. That didn't help us. Alright. Still, I think we're going to survive the flood. It's possible that... Um, I think this might still get dried out a little bit by the pump. But we have enough water over here that we aren't going to, to die at this time. Which is great. Do we have a food harvester up here? Because I think that would be an excellent little idea. Yeah, we'll do that that'll reach there because this is a lumberjack perfect all right folks we're gonna go ahead and put a cut in here um welcome to timberborn it is a game that is definitely extremely unforgiving we will see beavers die possibly all of our beavers will die during one drought at some point we're gonna try real hard not to let that happen as far as i know there's no combat other than the fact that you're constantly having to fight the environment just to not die We've got a plant over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to plant carrots where that chopped tree was, just because it's going to make me feel better to have a nice, um, nice unified crop field over here. Nice little farm. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, of course, do make sure to subscribe. It makes a tremendous difference, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.